All right, what up to the over 31,000 weight re-rackers out there in the community? Apparently we have a new shameless self-promotion box, which I'm not signed in in order to see. So I'm gonna have to do that at some point in the future, because I don't know what it is, but I appreciate the shameless self-promotion box, I think without seeing it. Anyway, we begin with number 19. Jordan's worst nightmare happened to me in trials. You're about to go up an elevator, aren't you? And it's gonna, it's gonna go poorly for you. Is that what? Mm -hmm. See why, why do they have that set up like that? No, dude, oh God. Mm. Were you supposed to go on top of the elevator? Because the elevator has a little ramp on the top of it. It's like you could have done that instead of having that happen. God dang it, bro. It's gonna happen to me one day at the gym. The worst elevators on the planet that just, you step into it and as soon as it's about to go, it just vibrates a little, it gives you a little jolt and then it starts moving. It's like, oh, this is safe. Please, Jardon, where is it? Literally everyone, give us the download link for the Fallen Kingdom map, Jardon. No. <laughs> No, I don't think I will. We'll see, dude. Yeah, I, I feel like it'd be cool to do a grand release of it of, of some kind to coincide with some kind of event. Bro, I don't know. We'll see. I haven't figured that out yet. Or just slyly post it on Planet Minecraft, be like, fan recreation of Fallen Kingdom. Little do they actually know it's the real thing. And they'd be looking at it like, ah, oh, whoever this person is, they did a really good job on this thing. That's pretty impressive. They're comparing it back and forth with the music video. Like, I can't find a single error with this thing. Or they would be, they'd be like, oh, they were close. But as you can see over here in the music video, ah, oh, it totally doesn't match up. And I'd be like, guys, it's the map. You're trying to find errors where they don't exist. Don't do this. We'll see. Stretchy, sketchy Jordan. Thank you, Kiwi, for for the artwork. I look like I skipped leg day in this photo. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so I don't skip leg day. It is just an accurate recreation. I just look like I skipped leg day in both places. But it's it's due to the it's due to the black tights, dude. Because I do legs every third day, and I think my I've been going so ham on my depth on my squats and stuff. Like I am going full on all the way to the ground, and it feels good. And it's actually stopped an issue that I had where my groin just felt super duper sore. Yeah, make your jokes, whatever. But really, I had like a, a muscle pain there. And going all the way down and narrowing my stance like really actually helped a whole bunch. Um, and so like I'm, I'm happy with where my legs are at, but it just never doesn't really show for some reason. I mean, it's just offset by the fact that my shoulder genetics are pretty good and that makes everything else just not seem good. Damn shoulders, bro. But good art. Thank you, Kiwi. Well done. And that's a fact. Jardon would win Fallen Kingdom Hungry Games because he knows that secret door. Yeah, dude, I would just hide down there and what we would do is we'd ensure that we set up just a massive amount of chests in that room because it's an Easter egg room, but I would know where it is. So I would just run straight away from the circle when we start. I'd go into that room, I'd pick up all the gear and then I'd come out and diamond armor, sword. Unless, of course, the armor stands inside of the main hall in the throne room still have the armor on them, in which case I can just snag the armor right off of there, and then we proceed to wreck everyone. Either way, I'll try. See, everyone else would simply be distracted. They'd be like, I want to recreate the Fallen Kingdom jump. I'm going to run into the castle, run off the bridge, and then I'm going to jump off into the water pit. And so everyone would just be racing to do that, right? Or at least someone would try to do it. So I could just like camp up there, and I would just punch everyone off, like shift behind the wall, and everyone who tries to do that, I just punch them right before, and then they miss the water and splat. Jordan, please. Do we really? We have a we have an original repost. I don't know which one came first, but yep. All right, I am Captain America, old Captain America, Boomer Captain America. No, I don't think I will share the map, bro. We'll see, dude. We'll see. Come on, Jordan. Jordan's reaction in the thumbnail. Jordan's actual reaction. <laughs> you know, it's almost as if there's possibly a slight percent chance that maybe I take the images for the thumbnail after the fact with a, just a still image and not actually taken from a frame in the video I just grab because usually mid frame in a video I look dumb that wouldn't look very good for a thumbnail so I could make a video of me just 
doing the thumbnail faces and taking the photos. God, it would be the most awkward video ever. Oh, no. No, you would, now everyone's gonna be like, yeah, we wanna see that. We wanna see a video of you making stupid faces and holding them for three seconds while you wait for the webcam timer to count down so it takes a photo so you can use it in the thumbnail. Uh, no. OMG, no way. Just met John Wick from Fortnite. Minecraft and Fortnite collab soon. Dude, you know that there has got to be some kids out there who actually do think that John Wick originated in Fortnite because they're too young to have seen the movies. The movies are R-rated, quite violent, and maybe their parents are like, nah, nah, but um, you can play the shooter, to be fair. The for we're, not, we're not about to get into a debate about this, but Fortnite's more cartoony. In any case, there are definitely kids out there who are like, oh, you saw that John Wick movie? That's pretty cool. Did you, did you know it originated from Fortnite? And so, first it's like, uh, no, no, it, it didn't didn't it, it was it was the movie first and then and then Fortnite got it from the movie it's like sometimes jokes are attributed to other youtubers even though they're really a reference to some other you know older pop culture thing but then a youtuber uses it and everyone's like oh that youtuber that's his thing and it's like no not quite spatial awareness is hard oh god what have i done this time i need to be more observant of the things around me <laughs> it's microphone <laughs> Yeah, maybe that's just my brand, dude. I just gotta I hit you guys every now and again. Sorry. Oh god, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. I also need to dust my microphone. That's my lack of spatial awareness, is there's a lot of dust on it. You guys probably notice. I've seen some comments like, dust your microphone, Jordan, and I'm like, eh, that requires effort. When I'm done here, half of my house will still be alive. Just cut everything in half. <laughs> this does put a smile on my face. <laughs> It could be um, the Thanos channel. That that would be my take on what's inside. The just cut everything in half channel, the Thanos channel. And then whatever one half is, we mix it with the corresponding volume of antimatter, and then it just disappears forever. That must be how the whole snap worked, is that everyone was mixed with a corresponding amount of antimatter, and then, and then they just the actual issue with that would be everything would just like blow up, I think, because it would generate such a massive amount of energy. But does a matter antimatter reaction, is it an explosive energy or is it just what well, I don't know how the energy is released. Does it have a shock wave? Is it just like, I don't know. How is the energy? OK, I'd have to look that up, but it would be a lot of energy release, like like too much for the universe to handle. Hey, look, a Jardonian predicted banners. Yeah. Yeah, de definitely. <laughs> de definitely banners, not 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 towels. That Minecraft person, they're just placing a banner outside of their house. They just uh, thought it would look nice. They'd support the kingdom, even though those aren't the kingdom colors. It's supposed to be a red cross on a yellow background, but you know what? That's okay. You're only defecting ever so slightly with your heathen green colors right there. It's fine. All of your clothing and attire and blankets and everything is supposed to represent the kingdom colors. So don't appreciate that, but we'll uh, have the police force tend to it later on. We promote positivity here. Love yourself like Chardon loves self-promotion. <laughs> This episode is sponsored by MC Pro Hosting. If you want to have a server of your own and play with some friends, choose MC Pro Hosting. And you too can one-click install Project Ozone and uh, play along as, as we play over on the Captain Sparkles 2 channel. Make sure you subscribe over there and watch all the videos as well as the Jordan Reacts and every other channel. Even watch some Roblox over on Jordan Games. Sign into the Reddit to check out the new shameless self-promotion box right here, right now. Thank you for watching and sub with Twitch Prime. It was an edge spot, Jardon. I'm so done. I'm so done with this one. I didn't even park the damn car. We're over it. We're so over it, dude. I didn't even park it. It wasn't me driving. It's a freaking Galpin employee, dude. He's a freaking, they own the place. All right, dude. Like the John Wick one? Here's another one that's pretty old. Ready for college. Hashtag graduated high school. <laughs> I don't even get it, dude. Don't even get it. It does, the caption doesn't even fit. Why? Jordo is too short to be a high schooler. You can't fool me. In fairness, for some reason in that photo, I just, I look, I look even shorter than normal. I don't know what is going on there. It's like the lens distortion of the angle, but it just, it just looks real, even worse than usual. Yeah, it really does. I hope Jardon has a QR code scanner if this gets into the top 19. You're gonna make me do this, huh?
Ay, ay, ay. No, I don't want to use your pro version. Fork off. Oh my god, go away. Stop telling me to rate you. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I can't actually play this. Because the, the top one is Viva La Vida. And then I'm assuming that the bottom one, you know, probably gonna be Fallen Kingdom. I'm just gonna assume on that one. Stop it! I don't want your advertisement. Obviously, the ideal way that you want to listen to it is looking at my phone held up to a webcam playing it out of the phone speakers. I mean, there could be no better way to experience Fallen Kingdom ever. Freaking QR codes. Aw, oh, man. Armed robber wore Minecraft costume, please say. Do it counter. Aw, oh, man. God damn it. <laughs> I don't think that's a Minecraft costume. It's just a creeper hoodie. It's actually merchandise that's available for sale. I don't think in a Halloween store. It's not like this is a creeper outfit, although I don't know, some crappy off-brand place probably does do that. I've done crappy off-brands in a while on the reaction channel. Dang! Anyway, he just zipped up the hoodie. And I guess you can still see through those things. Uh, don't commit crimes, kids. Please. Much less as a creeper, because then people are gonna be like, Whoa, are creepers causing violence among the youth of our uh, society? It's like, no! Dude was old and a criminal. More proof that Jordan owns all of YouTube. So reading through all the comments, quite a few of you missed the point of the video. I'm not saying I sound like Jordan. I'm explaining why a lot of people think I sound like Jordan. Please enjoy the video. I couldn't resist, dude. I had to I had to leave a comment undermining the entire purpose of the video. Okay. Basically, there are people who think that I was the one who sang the music videos. And so when they go over to his channel, they're like, wow, you sound a lot like Jordan over in his, the music videos that are on his channel. And it's like, I wonder why could it be perhaps the Try Hard Ninja was the vocalist because I am a garbage singer. Perhaps Occam's Razor applies here. Anyway, so he was dealing with that. Which, I'm sorry, Igor. I'm sorry that that's a thing that happens to you. I'm sorry, I apologize. But also we're the same person. Only facts here. America's ace, YouTube's abs, I don't really have $10 says if he gets this into the top 19, he'll say something about not having great ab genetics. I wasn't actually gonna say anything about the genetics, I was just gonna say I don't have great abs, but it is sort of partially attributed to genetics because I think no matter how lean I get, it just won't really show through that great. Lighting also here was not optimal for ab stuff. Like you really want a top down. This was more like straight on, so it's hard to illuminate the, anyway, it's a combination of a couple things there, but I don't think that this really qualifies as YouTube's abs. I'm gonna go ahead and say, a lot of people probably out there on YouTube, especially in the fitness category, who have far superior abs, but thank you. I appreciate the suggestion, just I think you could do better than me. Coincidence? I think not. The Fortnite guy is a ripoff of the King's Son from Fallen Kingdom. Bro, it is! Epic Games, shout out to you guys. I know you watch all my videos, big fans. I appreciate that. Thank you for watching, and thank you for uh, taking inspiration. You just need to, like, take a... Oh, if only we had any dancing in the... Oh, we should have created an original dance, and then Fortnite could have taken it as an emo dance. Damn, missed opportunity. I should have known that Fortnite was coming seven years ago. Don't really care if this makes top 19, just wanted to say this before I go. Hey guys, Henzoid here, just wanted to say thanks for watching and playing my maps. It's been incredibly rewarding to see all the love and support. Sad to say that that was most likely the last harnessing helium map. Oh, dude, what's... Oh, man, as I'm heading to a summer job and then college, this community has been so supportive of my excruciatingly hard maps. And I appreciate it so much. Until next time, Henzoid. Bro, I hope you have a chance to make more, but I also understand if you are too busy with, um, you know, progressing forward in life, but also I'll keep hoping that I get to rage nonstop at another map of yours at some point. But good luck with, uh, you know, going off to your job and, and college and doing all that stuff. I hope it's fun and everything. And also thank you, Weight Rackers, for apparently making this a very good experience and being supportive. So you are the real heroes of this story. And thank you, Hensworth, for making the maps and all that stuff. And 
Thank you to not me, because I probably seemed angry the whole time. <laughs> So I was probably the worst of the whole thing. Um, but I, I appreciate it, even though it probably doesn't show in the videos because I'm upset and frustrated. But I do appreciate it. So anyway, that's it on that hopefully wholesome note. Thank you, Henzoid, and we end this week's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like if you like. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more of these. Subscribe if you're not already. And shameless self-promo on all the things that I mentioned. Yes. We end there. Farewell. <laughs>